today's video is going to be a little bit of a first impressions. I don't have a full face, but we are going to test out a fair few new products which I am so excited about and I also just wanted to apologize on behalf of the wind. The last few days here have been so windy that it's insane. I apologize if you hear it but we can't do anything about it. So I have popped my eyebrows on. This is the third time I did my eyebrows today. I did them once on camera and it did not work out. Did them another time off camera. Did not work out but finally we have some eyebrows and I've primed my eyelids with some concealer and set them with some powder. So let's just do the eyes. I think I'm going to use a bit of tape because we all know how I love a nice crisp line on those outer corners. So, Okay, so for eyeshadows, I have the new Sigma The Dream palette. This looks absolutely stunning. Stunning. I didn't even know this was coming out, so when it arrived in the mail, I was so excited. So it's a collab with Beauty Bird. This is what it looks like. It is so beautiful. It has so many nice colors in there. It's got two highlights on the ends. And obviously, because Sigma is big on their brushes, you know how when you get an eyeshadow palette, it's normally just a sheer little brush. This is amazing. It is marble in the middle, rose gold on the ends, and it comes with a E38 on this end, which is actually one of my favorite brushes. And this one's one of my favorites as well, which is the E58 cream color. It's amazing for packing on shadow onto the lid. So I'm so excited. I'm gonna just start out with an E40 from Sigma, and I think I'm gonna go in with the shade Boo Boo, which is this one here. Oh yes. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the shade Ambidextrous, which is this nice kind of purpley, pinky, fuchsia shade. And I'm using the E38 that comes in the palette. And we're gonna put this through the crease. Okay, these shades are crazy pigmented. I think I have a blind pimple on my nose because it's like, incredibly sore but I can't see anything so either there's a blind pimple underneath or I've whacked it really hard without knowing then I'm going to take Orquita or 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 half of these names I think are in Spanish and yeah my Spanish is not good so I'm just going to kind of do the same thing, but I'm going to bring this down more in the outer corner and create like a V shape. These shadows are so buttery and blendable and creamy and just beautiful. Okay, then I'm going in with this shade, which are uh, Puesta del Sol, Puesta del Sol. I have no idea how to pronounce. <laughs> That's the only thing that kind of sucks. If you ain't Spanish, your pronunciation is not going to be good. I would love to learn Spanish. Every time Kathleen Lights uploads a video with her mum, like the Monday Mask videos, I am just obsessed with the way they speak. And even when they speak English, their accent comes through and it's just like the sexiest, most amazing language. I just, I love it. I have to go grocery shopping after this video, so we're just going to be looking real glam at the grocery store. I'm going to take a tiny little bit of the black, which is called Fearless. Your girl can pronounce that. And I'm just using the same brush again. And I don't want to put too much of this on because I want those purples to like have the spotlight, but I just want to add a little bit in the outer V just to kind of deepen it up. So for the lid shade, I think I'm going to keep it neutral. I might go in with this shade here. It's like a beautiful bronze, stunning color. It's called Cafe Cafecito. Cafecito. So I'm going to just try it without wetting my brush first of all and see how intense and foiled it is. And I'm just going to use the other end of this brush, which is the cream color. Ooh. 
am going to wet the brush because I do want it to be super intense. So just taking some Fix Plus. This color is everything. Oh my goodness. I'm going to just go back in with the blending side and blend my edges. I might just add a little bit more of the shade Ambidextrous, this one here. I just feel like my fuchsia intensity went down a little bit. Yeah, that's better. I might just pick up a bit of the shade Frenchie, which is just a matte, like, bone shade. Just to blend up towards my brow bone. Because I did take it a little bit high. And it's such a good trick because it just like brings the shadows down a little bit and helps everything mesh together. I'm going to just go in with the quick flick but I'm not going to use the stamp because when I've already got the tape on like there's not much point. I can just follow the tape and create a wing. Okay, my eyeliner is certainly not perfect, not even close, but it's going to have to do. Okay, so I'm just going to go in with a little bit of Sigma Longwear Liner Pencil in my waterline, or my tight line. And for mascara, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Unlimited Mascara. I literally, this dropped on the floor and rolled under one of my cupboards, so I forgot I had this. For falsies, I got a PR package from Makeup Geek a few days ago and they've come out with false eyelashes. They look so good and they're only $8 but they're on sale at the moment for $6. So I have five different styles to choose from. I think I'm going to go with Graceful. They look like this. They're just very fluffy and very my kind of style. They also sent me an eyeshadow palette. I'll quickly show you. I really wanted to use this as well, but I wanted to try the Sigma one first. It's the Stroke of Midnight palette. And I swatched the shimmer and foils on my Instagram stories. But how stunning is this palette? I'll have to do a tutorial using this very, very soon. They are very pretty. I love. Alright, we're going to do the face, so I'm going to move back and start to look like a normal human again. Okay, so to start out, I'm just going to go in with a little bit of Professional by Benefit. Just to fill in my pores and act as a little bit of a primer. And then a new product that I got sent from NYX is the Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. I'm going to put this over my face and hope that it's not too intense and that it just like kind of acts as a bit of a, just a bit of a glow, but we will soon see how this turns out. Okay, it's not too, 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 too intense, which is good. I just made my face really red though. Yeah. It's definitely not like my MAC Hyper Real Foundation, which I'm obsessed with. Definitely not like that, but I don't know. I don't have a new foundation. I'm just going to go in with my Too Faced Born This Way. I'm in the shade Light Beige. And I'm running out of this. It's definitely covering up like the redness from that illuminator. So... That is good. And for a little bit of a cream contour, I'm going in with the Hoola Quickie Contour Stick by Benefit. I've got to say. And I'm going to use the Models Prefer Precision Buffing Brush. And then for concealer, I'm going to do a little mix and match. So I'm going to take Tarte Shape Tape underneath my eyes. 
And then for the rest of my face, I'm going in with the MAC Studio Fix 24 Hour Concealer in NC20. I'm just going to do some of that down the center of my face. Just to kind of highlight and conceal a little bit. My stomach is growling. I'm so hungry. I think because I was sick for a few days this week, I had very bad fibro fog, which is, you can look it up. When you have fibromyalgia, you get like fibro fog. It's basically where your brain just doesn't work properly. You forget things and it's very bizarre, but it's real. And I forgot to refill my antidepressant script and I just went three days without taking it, without realizing that I wasn't taking it. And so I was withdrawing from that and I got so sick, so depressed, so suicidal. It was just horrible. And because of that, I wasn't really eating much. And I think that's why now my body's like, okay, give us food now. To set and contour, I've got the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. I don't think this is new, but it's new to me. I've never tried it. But I feel like this has been out for a while. I don't know if this is like a different version or something. This is how the palette looks. So to set my under eyes, I think I'm going to mix together the banana shade and this whitish shade. That's pretty good. It's like nice and brightening. And I'll just do the same kind of down the center of my face. Just to set like the rest of my face, I'm going to use my MAC Studio Fix Powder in C3. And I'm just going to do a real light kind of dusting of this. And I am looking real matte right now. All of these contour shades are pretty dark. The best one for me is going to be maybe a mixture between these two. I'm going to use the Exo Beauty Bronzer Brush. They're very pigmented because I barely picked up any and I tapped off the brush. But I still got a lot of product. You just have to really blend them though because I feel like these would get muddy very quickly. I'm just going to go back in with my sponge and kind of blend those edges. I don't have a new blush, so I'm just going to use this little Bourjois Le Duo Blush. Le Duo Blush. Oh my gosh. It's in the shade 01 in Separoses. Why is everything that I'm trying to say in a different language? So I'm going to take a little bit of that on an F37 from Sigma. I actually really love the little bourgeois blushes. They're, they're just like a nice light pigment, but they're enough to just give you like a rosy glow to the cheeks. And they smell amazing. Oh, there's something in my eye. I could probably use a bit more of a dense brush for this blush because it is very lightly pigmented, but that's okay. The eyes are pretty intense, so I don't want a super intense blush anyway. And then for highlight, I have this new NYX Born to Glow Highlighter in the shade Chosen One. And I swatched this and it does look beautiful. It's just really hard to open. So it's very golden, like super golden, but it's very beautiful looking. I'm just going to use my Anastasia Illuminator brush. Oh, that is so pretty. I like this more than I even thought I would and I knew I was going to like it. I thought it would be like super intensely gold, but it's like the perfect gold for my skin tone. Might have gone a bit overboard in some spots. Okay, so my face is done. I'm just going to spray a little bit of Fix Plus just to like melt my powders together and kind of set everything. And I'm going to come in and finish my eyes. And I'm going to dust this all on the lower lash line. Then on a Sigma E20 short shader, I'm going in, I'm going to mix together Orkida and Cuesta del Sol. 
Oh my gosh. Don't hate me for my pronunciation, guys. Then on an E15, I'm taking the black, which is fearless, and I'm gonna push this right up against my lower lash line. And I'm just gonna spray my E38 again with some Fix Plus. And I'm going to go back in with ca Cafecito, and I'm gonna pop that on the inner third of the lower lash line. For my inner corner, I think I'm going to go in with Libra, which is the highlight, the lighter highlight of the two. I've got this metallic eyeliner pencil from NYX in the shade Rose Gold, which it's more of a champagne. I don't know why it's called Rose Gold. And then I'm just going to take some mascara on my lower lashes. So for lips, I'm going to line using the Makeup Store Nude Beauty Lip Liner. And then to fill them in, I'm using Tarte Color Splash Lipstick in Beach Bay, which is my favorite nude. And then I have these little Makeup Geek Healing Lip Glaze Trio. So they're like tiny little lip glazes. The packaging is so cute and they smell amazing. So I'm going to use the nude shade, which is... These don't have names on them, so I'm just using the nude shade from the range. The little doe foot is like curved and pointed, which makes it so easy to get on the lips. So that is it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I am obsessed with the eyeshadow palette. It is so amazing and I feel like I'm gonna use it a lot. I really like the lashes. I really like this highlight from NYX. It is so nice. I like the contouring palette as well. It's just like not my top favorite. And I really like these little lip glazes. I've only tried the nude one. I haven't tried the pink or purple, but I really, really like this. I feel like this is going to live in my handbag. There wasn't anything I tried that was really horrible. I wasn't having the best luck with everything today, but we got there in the end and we found some good things. So that is always a plus. So don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye! I'm going to take the little gel from the NYX pencil and just coat. Oh wait, is this coloured? Oh my gosh. I... Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. What is going on? Oh my good god! Ah, what just happened? All right, I'm gonna have to start again because that's so bad. I also have a headache from this bloody headband. Ah. Struggling today.